Welcome back. We're going to be speaking about layers with a single surface. Now, I'm not talking about layers in surfaces themselves. Uh, that's a different topic. I'm talking about actual Q layers. So we're going to have one single surface, and then we're going to have different layered effects throughout the entire routine. Now, if um, you fire a layer, um, it's going to start at the bottom first. If you fire a second Q, that Q is going to naturally go on top of this one. If you stop the second Q, the first layer will still be seen, unless you have stopped it previously. So uh, keep in mind that every time you fire a Q, whether it's video, a photograph, or a um, camera Q, uh, layers are very important. Now in most cases, you are going to add the Q that you want to see being the last cue you fire. Uh, if, you, you know, if you have a backdrop and you want to show a photograph, when you click the photograph, it's going to be in front because it's the last thing you fired. In some cases, that's not the case. In some cases, you want a logo to be in front, and after five minutes, you want a slow video to come up behind the logo. Um, you couldn't do that if you didn't do layers properly because it would put the video graphic on top of the logo. Okay, So I'm going to give you an example, and I actually designed some uh, PNG um, graphics that have holes cut in them so you can see through to the previous layer so you understand what's going on. So we have here a simple American flag logo which we used before, a, a looping uh, backdrop which we used before. That is going to remain in the backdrop. Now we have layer A and layer A I've cut out um, some individual sections right here that allow you to see through that graphic. This is a PNG um, photo and uh, as you can see the video is playing underneath that. Now layer B is on top of that and I've added two more individual holes which now you can see through layer B onto layer A which is that color right there is layer A just to remind you the color of layer A is right here so, for example, if I stop layer A and fire layer B, you can see through all four of those holes. If I stop uh, layer B and start layer C, I've added even more holes. And if I stop layer C and fire layer D, I've added a diamond shape plus the six holes plus the two square bars. So if you fire them in sequence, there's layer A, layer B, layer C, and layer D. Okay, so now if you have to do a routine and then jump backwards or you need to layer things in a certain way, if you just have them the way you added them so far in the series, it would end up going wrong because if you, let's say, fire the uh, graphic and now you jump to layer D, that's fine. But let's say you need to stop the graphic and you want to bring the graphic back in well, now it just jumped on top because it comes in layers by sequence. So to prevent that, um, see, these are all out of order now. So to prevent that, what we're going to do is we're going to stop everything. We're going to choose our American flag, and we're going to tell it by going to display in geometry. When it says layer, we're going to tell the layer to go to bottom. Now, I believe there is 1,001 layers in here in reality, even though it says 999, because you have 999 layers to choose from, but then you also have a top queue and a bottom queue, as you can see right here. And what those top and bottom queues do is it doesn't matter when you fire them or what is currently playing. If you tell this to be on the bottom, it doesn't matter what. If you have this layer D firing, and you fire this, it's going to go to the bottom. It's going to go to the bottom of the entire stack of all your cues playing. If you add something else, it's going to remain on the bottom. It keeps getting pushed to the very bottom, which allows you to see it in the background and the new image on top. Now, uh, let's say you want your final image to always look like this. Background, layer A, layer B, layer C, and layer D. That is the graphic, the image you should see. Every layer is seen through to the previous layer. Um, just to demonstrate this, I have added a, a photograph, a PNG screenshot, of what that should look like on its final position. 
Okay, so we're going to try to make sure we match that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to tell the, back, um, the background to stay on the bottom. We're going to go in reverse now. So our final finale cue, we want to remain on top, which it always already has. Okay. So no matter when you fire this, it's going to go to the very top of the stack. Layer C, which is the one that's supposed to be just below it, is going to go to 999, which is the top, 999, 998, 997, so on and so on. The next layer is going to go to 998, and the following layer is going to go to 997. So this cue here will always fire in the bottom, this cue will always fire in the top, and this cue will be in 997, 998, and 999. So now I can fire those out of sequence and no matter what order you fire them, you should get this exact look that you got down here when we fired them all in perfect order. So let's fire layer C first. Let's fire layer A next. Let's fire um, the background. And let's fire layer B, or let's go layer D, which is on top. And now layer B should be somewhere in between. And that is the exact match because that is the order we want those to come in. So just remember that your layers are 1 through 999, and then of course you have two options of a bottom and a top. And that will allow you to position your layers wherever you want them. Uh, this is really handy when you have a camera cue or you have text, um, where you want the text to be there, and then a camera cue comes in, but you want the text to still remain on the bottom of the camera. So uh, let's say I have a disclaimer in the show, and I'm going to use a live camera shot, but I want the disclaimer to stay there. I'll have the disclaimer on top, and I will have the video live camera shot on 999, which is just one layer below top. And then, of course, my background layer is on bottom, and that is the background effect behind the video uh, shot. So you get this exact same effect, and as you can see, it doesn't matter if this is video or if this is photographs or what it is, it will remain in that layer sequence. So I hope that made sense to you, and um, layers are definitely going to be really useful when you have multiple um, uh, graphics on top of each other. So I hope layers can help you out, and uh, let's check out the next video.